Hi there, in this video we will continue the process of solving the past papers. In the last video we solved the paper of fall 2021 of BSc year program, 4 year program, 5th semester of the affiliated colleges with University of the Punjab. The course code is 307A and now we are going to solve the 220 um, fall question paper. Um, this is the question paper and it has short questions and long questions just like we have seen in the last video. It has six short questions and three long questions. Uh, so we can come to the solution of these questions. Now the suggested solutions are here. The first part is about the calculus of variations. It is the explanation of the concept. So uh, this is the narration of this concept of calculus of variations. So you can pause the video and read this make sense of it we are not required to do any numerical here so we are going to save some time here and we are going to discuss the theory in our answer of this question so then we have a numerical and you can refer to the last video for the understanding of it uh, also on this channel you will find similar questions their solutions so you can also refer to them uh, in order to understand this this is a very elaborate uh, solution and you can also refer to the last video in which the detailed explanation of similar questions is done here again we have a numerical in which we are required to find out the characteristic roots so we can uh, try to make sense of it with the help of this simple table the roots are found and we can see that the first two roots are getting repeated minus 3 and minus 3 so these are the repeated real roots and the remaining roots are conjugate complex roots so this is a hybrid case and in this hybrid case we have two types of roots then the fourth question is about writing the characteristic equation uh, of uh, the complementary function of this complement characteristic equation so we have already found the roots in the last part and these will be used to develop the complementary function here we have written the formula the two parts are mentioned and then we have substituted the values uh, the small uh, typographic mistake is there in the last video you can see they there are two minus signs making this is a positive sign but it's not so it should be a single minus sign because r2 is minus 3 and r1 is minus 3 so in that uh, it, it should also be minus 3 only and no other sign should be there and here the final result should also be with minus 3 so uh, we need to fix that in that video at least in our minds and this will be the final result of the complementary function now the uh, fifth part is about the primal and dual the theory of it is given here you can again pause the video and try to make sense of it and remember it no numericals are required here the final uh, theoretical question of the short nature is about maximum principle and its theory is also given here you can pause the video and try to make sense of this so these are the various uh, components and finally after understanding these components we have various steps of doing this maximum principle here we are the maximum principle is concluded with the help of four steps and then we have the long essay questions you can refer back to the last video in which uh, uh, a short theorem question was there so the explanation can be understood from there whereas this is the uh, detailed solution then we have the uh, third question is the second of the long questions which requires us to elaborate the Phillips uh, model uh, in which uh, the Phillips curve is made and it's basically inflation and unemployment relationship and it's not theoretical na in nature it is required in the form of uh, differential and difference equations so this is why its explanation is here it's again not a numerical so its uh, theoretical description is there but it happens with the help of these equations this uh, the first explanation is with the help of differential equations as you can see these differential signs and then we will try to uh, elaborate this with the help of difference equations as you can see these subscripts in the uh, base of uh, of the variables that are, are coming with lags and leads so this is the uh, explanation of the Phillips curve with the help of difference and differential equations and finally we have this fourth question which is about the uh, Tucker conditions of this certain numerical uh, it's a nonlinear objective function the other constraint is linear uh, the second one is as well the final are the nonlinear um, non-negativity constraints 
So we are requiring nonlinear programming due to this nonlinear objective function. Uh, we already know that there are a few steps. The first one is about Lagrangian function, in which we make this Lagrangian function. This is the objective function, and these are the two uh, constraints connected with the help of these two Lagrangian multipliers. Once we do this, we need to write the conditions for maximization. These are the Kern-Tucker conditions. The first two are variable-based, and the second two are multiplier-based. So we remember this with the help of other videos on this channel related to nonlinear programming and Kern-Tucker conditions. And then we have the uh, development of the first-order conditions. We will differentiate the given um, the developed const. Um, Lagrangian function with the help of uh, first independent variable x and the second independent variable which is y and the first and second multipliers and in order to get these four inequalities which will be the first order conditions this is the fourth one and this is the first in inequality which is there so after um, having these inequalities. These four inequalities can be converted into equalities by replacing these with equal signs and once we do this we get four of these uh, first order conditions. So here we can say that we have fulfilled the requirement of the question but uh, in order to gain comprehensive knowledge and perhaps to deal with the situation where in exam we are given the uh, we are required to solve the given question of nonlinear programming we should know that how we should solve this uh, you can refer to videos on this channel of the solution description of these uh, steps the step 3 for the trial solution cases and these are the various steps that you need to undertake in this we have found the um, optimum values of x and y and we have also found the optimum values of the multipliers. By using these, uh, we can verify the given objective and the constraint function. And we can see that it is being verified. And once all the constraints and objective function are being verified with the critical values, we can be sure that all of these uh, values are true. So the satisfaction, the verification is done. In this way, the final question is also solved. These are the additional steps, whereas these were the conditions that were required. And before that, we had the question in which we had to explain the Phillips curve with the help of difference and differential equations. This was the question. And before that, we had the application of Schur theorem on the difference equation of the second order in order to find its dynamic stability, which was done. This was the set of uh, short questions. A few were theoretical in nature, for example, these. And a few were num in numerical form, as you can see these two or three questions are in numerical form that we have already solved and explained. The first part was theoretical in nature and this is the description of that. So this is how the suggested solution of the uh, ECON 307 Advanced Mathematical Economics BS 4 year program the fifth semester fall 2022 of the affiliated colleges with the University of Punjab the solution of which is explained here. I hope this has benefited you and this should encourage you to uh, subscribe to this channel, like it, click the bell icon and also to request for further solutions of various economics and especially mathematical economics question papers.